Hello and welcome to this European Compliance Academy a training course in process validation. My name is Dr. Lena Lonsberg Nielsen and I will be your instructor. So just a few words about myself. Uh, I'm a scientist. Uh, I've been working in the pharmaceutical industry, both in manufacturing and development since, in development since I um, finalized my PhD in process analytical technology. And uh, so since then, I've been working with the science and risk based approaches uh, that we use for designing the process, for transferring the process, and for validating the process. And I will um, be using some of the examples from the different projects I've been working on throughout my life. Uh, and I hope that will be of a good inspiration to you. So because we're going virtual now, um, we have decided to um, split the program into two different parts. So the first part being a part where I go through regulatory requirements to process validation. I will have a module showing you the requirements uh, to process design and what we mean by process design. There will be a module on the systems and the tools for gaining process understanding and to establishing the control strategy. And these will all be pre-recorded. And then we have a live Q&A sessions where you can ask questions to those three modules. And then <clears throat> I will then go, and go through the uh, a case study uh, where I'll show you how we can design a process. I will move into the second stage of process validation, which is called process validation or process performance qualification, and continue with the case study and demonstrate here what should we cover under process validation. And we will again stop and have a live Q&A session. So that is the idea um, and the program for part one. Part two will be similar. I will start with the um, third stage of process validation lifecycle, which is the ongoing or continued process verification. I will complete the case study that we have been using during part one as well. And then I have another case study, which is about how do we establish an ongoing process verification program for legacy products. And then finally, I will wrap up and I will uh, just remind us what we have been going through uh, these uh, during these two parts, but also share with you some of the the considerations and the future aspects for validation when we moved into this new digitalized space uh, uh, covered by Industry 4.0 principles. Uh, and then at the end we will have a live Q&A session again. So I, will, I hope you will enjoy this training course and um, I'm looking forward to share the technical program with you and to have uh, the Q&A sessions. So thank you and good luck.